Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64, and today I have some more Zero X10C news. Now, we haven't heard a lot about Zero X10C in a while, mainly because Notch hasn't really been talking about it all that much, but there is actually some pretty major news regarding the future of Zero X10C. Now, I just want to mention something here very quickly. If you're wondering why my voice sounds a bit different in this video, uh, my Microsoft Lifecam is not working properly, so I can't use the microphone feature on it. Um, I don't know why I... I guess that's another thing I broke. Now I broke my Microsoft Life Cam. Great. So once again, I am using, for the first time in over a year, the built-in microphone in my laptop. But the reason why the audio quality doesn't sound so horrible in this video is because I was able to configure the sample rate so that the quality doesn't sound horrible. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that I'm just using a different microphone in this video, but anyway, let's get on to the actual news now. Sometime earlier today, Notch announced that he's no longer developing 0x10C. Apparently, Notch broke the news while he was doing a live stream of him playing Team Fortress 2. According to a recent post on Notch's Tumblr blog, while he was live streaming Team Fortress 2, he got asked about the progress of 0x10C, and he replied by basically saying he wasn't working on it anymore. In the same blog post, he also rants about how much easier it was for him to develop games when nobody knew who he was. Now here's one part of his blog post that I found kind of interesting. It says, and I am going to read the entire thing, what I hadn't considered was that a lot more people cared about my games now. People got incredibly excited, and the pressure of suddenly having people care if the game got made or not started zapping the fun out of the project. I spent a lot of time thinking about if I even wanted to make games anymore. I guess I could just stop talking about what I do, but that doesn't really come all that natural to me. Over time, I kind of just stopped working on it, then eventually decided to mentally file it as on ice and try doing some smaller things. Turns out what I love doing is making games, not hyping games or trying to sell a lot of copies, I just want to experiment and develop and think and tinker and tweak. Now, he mentioned that the pressure of suddenly having people care whether or not the game actually got released was zapping the fun out of the project. So could that possibly be one of the reasons why he stopped developing Zero X10C? Because so many people got hyped up about this game when it was announced, and the fact that people actually started caring about the game, and mainly whether or not it would be released, was putting so much pressure on him that he no longer enjoyed developing the game? That could be a possible reason why, but then again, there could be other reasons as well. But I will admit, that is kind of shocking. Notch is no longer developing Zero X10C after working on it for over a year. However, not all hope is lost, because now the community is developing their own version of Zero X10C called Project Trillac. Now, there's not really much to say about Project Trillac at this time, because it was only recently announced. But, apparently, it's not going to use any of Notch's code, but it will be somewhat similar to Zero X10C. So perhaps we might still get 0x10c, but it'll be in the form of Project Trillac. And to be completely honest with you, that's pretty much all the 0x10c news that I have for you guys now, so yeah. So Notch is no longer developing 0x10c, uh, more so the community is starting to develop it now. They're creating their own version called Project Trillac. So yeah, definitely can't wait for Project Trillac to come out, even though it's only been recently announced, but once Project Trillac comes out, I'll definitely try to make some videos of it. But yeah, so that's pretty much all the Zero X10C news I have for you guys now. So this is Dr. Robotnik64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or even subscribe. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. The link to my Twitter account's in the description of all my videos, including this one. So yeah, but that's it for now. So I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.